Alright, welcome back to Jeff Kanange Live as is in television from Moshi to Mumbai. They're watching the SG and, here. And Geneva. And Geneva as well. Yeah. You have lots of fans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but you don't say, eh? Yeah. Before we go to the counties, real quick, I want your reaction on Sarah Serem slashing salaries. There's a new salary structure that starts after August 8th. Let, me, let me tell you something. Sarah Serem should be arrested. Hmm? I'm telling you, she should be arrested. Why? She has broken the law. What do you mean? Because you see, you literally you cannot come out and her role is advice her role mm. to advise government on state officers and public officers issues related to wages. But wages or salaries that were there was a process yes. before these salaries were designated to these people. Right. And you know, if you look at our own employment act that is uh, part four. Mm. It talks of wages protection. How your salary should be protected. And also the ILO convention, number 95 of 1949. Yeah. It talks about, of which Kenya government has ratified, by domesticating it into our own employment act. Right. So you cannot just wake up and say, I'm slashing. And what he has slashed is insignificant. Yeah, 200,000 yeah. here, 200,000 yeah, there. Hopeless. It's nothing. <coughs> you know, Issues related to wages and incomes. This is a labor issue. Before you come out like that, you must consult widely. So you think she was wrong? Very wrong. In this country, the authorities on labor issues are three. Social partners. That is called where I come from. Federation of Kenya Employers and Minister of Labor. Mm. Nobody else, no one, even what, under whatever circumstances, yes. who can wake up and start talking about wages. No and salaries and remuneration No, nothing, commission. nothing. And I'm telling you that one. After these elections, we are going to wage campaign to do away with that Sarah Seremis commission. Oh. Because you see, she interferes even with freely negotiated collective bargaining agreement. Yes. And look, a CBA is in the national constitution. Mm. In the Bill of Rights, Article 41, Para 5. You cannot remove it until when you go for a referendum. She doesn't know what she's doing. Hmm. Somebody should advise her. Somebody should advise her. Oof. Somebody should advise her. <laughs> you can't be waking up and you see... If she's watching you right what, now, what do you tell her? What, what you tell her? What she would have done, she proposed that to government. And even President Uhuru Kenyatta himself cannot come out and say this is what I'm yeah, doing. He supports it. Constitution. He supports it. No, it's just a matter of uh, somebody not advising him uh, correctly. What, it is a party like now Jubilee can call it organ mm. and say, look, gentlemen, we are in a problem. We need to look at the wages salaries, and salaries. Yeah. And then they recommend this to Parliament. Right. And then the Parliament will look at it and, it, you know, they work on it. Mm. They say, no, this is what we are coming up with a new... Structure. If she's watching you right now, yeah. what do you tell her? What I'm telling her is that she should not start interfering with issues of which are not in her domain. She's supposed to advise. She's not supposed to come out and say, I'm slashing these wages, I'm doing this, mm. you literally. That is illegal. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for your thoughts. Let's come back to politics. Nairobi. Has Sonko lost his Sonkoness? Nairobi is a very difficult place. You know me, I was brought up in Nairobi. Yes. Yeah. Nairobi politics is not easy. Even today in Nairobi, let me tell you, when you are coming from airport, and today I called, I was coming from Khartoum in the morning. Early morning. I did call Kidero. You called him? Uh, yeah, but he didn't answer my call. You see, when you were on Mombasa Road, at the junction to, to, to South, South, South Sea, yes. down there, yes. that junction, mm -hmm. which branch, if you... The garbage around that place. And you know, that is the gateway of Nairobi. Correct. It's the gateway. And normally when you arrive at that particular place, mm. there is traffic jam. So the vehicles are moving at a very low speed. And the traffic Here we have an investor coming to Kenya. You know, somebody would assume what Kenya is from right away from the airport. 
when he sees our immigration officers, if they are not well dressed, yeah. the airport is filthy, yeah. and then he goes outside there, he starts meeting with the garbage on the street everywhere, you know, there uh, a lot of dust on the roads, uh, you know, the, you, you assume, because you know, roads outside there, you know. They are clean, yes. they are washed, beautiful. you know, beautiful. Yes, smooth. Smooth. And I want to give you an example. What, 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 let, what, me, let me tell you yes. something. You, are, you have never not known. What should be done in this country? Kenya requires a rebirth. A rebirth. A rebirth is a new Kenya. To have a new Kenya, new thinking, new generation, people who have seen things elsewhere, people who can drive agenda of the country, of the nation, not their selfish agenda. Go to Kigali, Rwanda. Mm. From the airport, a small airport, very clean airport, yeah. you will never meet papers. You see, here people are talking about pot and papers and what have you. And people are opposing. You but can't see a paper yeah. on the street or, of Rwanda. Or plastic. Yeah, or plastic. Plastic is banned. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 this, and this is how, how we are a big economy. Yeah. Rwanda as a whole, small economy. Yeah. You can get into Kenya's eco Nairobi's economy ten times. Nairobi alone. <laughs> so Nairobi requires a really driver, but then a serious yeah, person. Rwanda is run by people say a benevolent dictator. Yeah, but you see, if you want to achieve what you want, you must make people to think towards one direction. How do you make people to think towards one direction? They must be told. You must be clean. Mm. You remember when you were in primary school, you go to school, if you have never taken, you have not, you know, you are not clean. Yes. Your teacher will come and check on you like yes. this. Go back, clean yourself. Yeah. Tell your parents to clean. You know, you must plant a sense of direction into masses. This is what I want to come up with. What were you going to tell Kidero? I don't know. We are going for elections. No, what were you going to tell him this morning when you called him? I, I didn't get him on the phone. He didn't what answer. What were you going to tell him? I was going to tell him, come and see what is happening. The city is dirty. Mm. Yeah, the junction on Mombasa Road to South Sea. Terrible. And this terrible. And the whole road. And I don't know when Nairobi was cleaned that night using water. Yeah. You know? I remember. Yeah? In the streets. In the streets. They are sweeping. And that can take a lot of money. Can People you? just look, uh, I want to become a governor. After I've become a governor, this is my plan. Mm. I want to enrich myself here. And there. Mm. I think Nairobians should wake up. This is the gateway of our investors, uh, both who want to invest here directly or indirectly. This is the place that we know as the headquarters of everything in East and Central Africa. So you're saying we need a change in Nairobi? A driver. A driver? Yeah. Who's the driver? You should provide a driver, you Nairobians. Is it Miguna Miguna? I don't know. But amongst these people look for a, a serious person. Is it Peter Not Kenneth? a political friend, not a party friend. Is it Peter Kenneth? Oh, that guy is bright. But you know, he has no I don't know what will happen because he's an independent person. Yeah. Yeah, but that one is exposed. You know Peter Kenneth every year. He takes a people about 20 or 30 people from his constituents in Gatanga yes. to Europe. Mm. Last year they were in Austria. Those old people to see how cities are. I met him in Austria. What were you doing in Austria? I was in a meeting of the International Trade Union Confederation that I'm a vice president. And I met Peter Kenneth there. With the, with the old men? Yeah. He, every year to expose people to see what is happening outside Kenya. We need, you know, these people go to Dubai always. And when they go to Dubai, they go there banking mm. to take money to Dubai. Yes. They are not seeing good things that are happening in Dubai. No. Like some, uh, those who are in charge of the international organizations, yes. like WHO and what have you, they go to Geneva always. I ask them, when you go back to Nairobi, what are you thinking? What is in your head? What is in your head, you people? <laughs> yeah? That is part of what made me move outside Nairobi. Yeah. Because I can't stand seeing filth. This city was clean when we was, were growing. Once upon it a time. It was wonderful. Yes. And this can be done. Can Sonko do it? This song I don't know him very well. But he's my friend. Maybe he can. He can. I don't know. I don't want to commit myself. But out of these four drivers, who's the one? Tell me you also. Who can do it? Also try to assist me. I'm in a guagma. I'm lost. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't want to make a recommendation right. to somebody who will let me down tomorrow. Right. And then people will ask me, Francis, as an elder, yes. you, you on TV, it. on JK, you yes. endorse this guy. Yes. See what he's doing. Right. Yeah? But we need a driver. We need a driver. A serious driver.
Very serious driver. Yeah. Kiambu, can Kabogo come back as an independent? I don't know. Huh? I can't tell you for sure. I don't know. In Kiambu. Baba Yao. But you see, both Kabogo and Baba Yao, these are no nonsense guys. These are very serious people. Both of them, two of them. Those are not people who take things lying down. So let's watch. It's a good match to watch. Mm. Let's watch. Mm. Just let's watch. You're being very non-committal. Yeah, because you know, if I'm committed, and then tomorrow, I will still come here and you will ask me, you said, what a type of this person. At least you took a stand. Yeah. No, you take a stand to a person you know very well. Who do you know very well? Oparanya and Khalwale. But I can tell you for sure, for the first time, if you come to my home, this guy called Oparanya has tarmacked uh, from, uh, we have a tarmac road that Kibaki gave us, from Buyangu to Ekero to Mumias. And then there is a junction to the headquarters of my constituents or division called Kwisero. This guy called Oparanya has tarmacked it. The whole thing? The whole thing. And the tarmac we used to think is very expensive, cannot be done. We had been promised for so many years we could not see tarmac on that local road. So from the tarmac to my house is about 100 meters. You see, this man has that. You go to Mumias, every home is tarmac. And I think uh, if people are talking about development, I don't want to get committed that I'm supporting Oparanyo or Kaluali. They are all my friends. But if people are committed to who has done what, then they, we should be rewarding the people who have done something. Mm. You give him at least two terms. But I don't know. I don't want to get committed to that. But to me, somebody who has delivered should be remembered and should be, you know, should yeah. be rewarded uh, if people are good. I think you've already given your answer there without really committing, but you've given an answer. Yeah. Kisumu County. Mm. Professor Nyangyong Ranguma. Let me tell you, the politics of Kisumu is very difficult. Mm. I know because Kisumu, once you are a in a party a, in an odium in a party mm. you get it but uh, you need also to do to have a big picture uh, um, what made a young young and uh, and and become say he wants to become uh, a, a, a governor uh, versus raguma you know these people when when somebody has done a one term you, you can hardly judge him, mm. unless if you have his past history. So, so they need two terms? Uh, I think so. People should, because this is like employment. Let people have some two terms and so on and so on. But you know, I don't want to say somebody should have two terms against the wishes of the majority, because Kenya is a democratic society. Mm. Uh, but to me, I think uh, uh, the, the, the governor who was there would have been given. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think independence will have any effect at all? Oh, some are dangerous. Hmm? Yeah, like in Busia, that independent guy is a serious guy. Mm. Yeah. It's a serious guy. It's a serious contender. Yeah. He must be checked, otherwise he will become a governor. He could take it. Yeah. And we have some independent guys who are going to become MPs. MPs Don't dismiss sure. them. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, let me tell you, all was not good during nominations. And it has been like... No, they were shambolic, yeah. let's face it. Yeah, yeah. They were shambolic. Yeah. So good candidates were left out and they have helped people in one way or another. People cannot forget them, Jeff. So I think uh, we should also respect those independent mm, candidates. Mm. And for these people who are vying on presidential tickets, who want to become presidents, they should not bash those independent candidates. Because what they will do, yeah. they will cause what we call voters apathy. Right. People will not turn out. Right. They will say, oh, they, they want those people who are in their party. And these parties are owned by people. They have their owners. Yeah. Yeah. And I will give you a good example. Go on. You see, in the constitution, national constitution, Workers have a constituency. But then MPs went to Parliament and crafted something that if you want to go to Parliament from a worker, as it is stipulated in the Constitution, you must go through a political party. I can't lower myself. I can't lower myself, a Secretary General of Court, mm. to lower myself, mm. to become an ODM member, to become a MAN member, to become Jubilee member, so that I go to Parliament. When I'm leading 2.5 million people behind me, and they are members of all these political parties, I think that rule should be changed so that workers have their own constituency. But I thought you said the you disabled were... yes. ones that are, you know. Yeah, I thought uh, you said you were Kano. I, that I'm, I'm telling you by birth, because that is a party which was there during Baba that time. Baba and Mama. Yeah, Baba and Mama. We had no another political party. But when I went to Koto, I became partless.
But if you want to get to my roots, then you have got to get me to Kano, if you want to write my history. So the, what I'm trying to tell you is, as a KOTU Secretary General, yes. I cannot politicize workers' organization by saying I must go through a certain given mm. political mm. party mm. so that I go to parliament. I will never do that. Never. Because the members I represent are members of, they support different types of political yeah. parties. Unless on a resolution of our governing council. But I cannot stand up and say, I want to lower my... And let me tell you something. Now, what was Jubilee before? It was TNA uh -huh. and URP. Uh, and then, what was uh, NASA before? ODM. And CODE. CODE. Yeah. What, what do you know next year, what will be next election, during next election? Uh, how sure are you that it will be NASA, Jubilee and so on? It will be something different. Yeah. Do I create a departure from a non-strong institution uh, which was there from 1965, mm. Central Organization of Trade Unions, being sixth from the late Tom Boyer, and then he become a member mm. of something which will disappear <laughs> in the thin air tomorrow. <laughs> I, can't I, work. It can't work. Never. 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 Yeah. Because yeah. workers of any given country are the people who decides the destiny of that country. Mm, no they are the engines of the economic change. Yeah. So you cannot lower yourself and say, I want to become mm. Jubilee, right. so that I go to Parliament, or I want to become NASA, mm. you know. It doesn't work. Let's go over to Wasingishu. There's a young man called Buzeki going after the incumbent Mandago. It's a serious guy because he was prevailed upon not to leave. He said, no, yeah. you've got to go up to the end. Yeah, he's, he was told, give it up. That's a serious guy, and uh, the current governor has got to work overtime mm. uh, to make sure that he goes back. Yeah. They are all serious guys, but uh, this young man, Buseki, is also a serious guy. So that is a very good match for people to watch. It's a good one. And that is, uh, those are the effects of democracy. Mm. Because if it were during our own party uh, state, <laughs> we would have done away with Buseki. <laughs> 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 so it's good to see. Yeah. Kirinyaga County. Two women. Two tough women. Those are two tough women. Iron Lady versus Minji. You know, Iron Lady has been fighting. This is Martha. Martha. Martha has been fighting. She's a fighter and she doesn't give up. Somebody would have rewarded her. And she has a record. Yeah. You know... Martha and uh, Njoki Ndung, mm. when they were in parliament, mm. they are the people who assisted Kotu to make sure that we have a three months maternity for our women, plus their one month leave, four months. And men have paternity leave, 14 right. days. Yeah. You know, Martha, you can trace him to so many achievements that she has done, surely. Can she beat yeah, Waiguru? But the Kenyans, you know, they forget very quickly. Can she beat Waiguru? What is, where did Waiguru come from, first of all? You know, people must have records. How is her record? Mm. You can't come from a, a, a dancing place or from a university, from another institution outside there, and then you say, even it was very difficult for us to accept you from Atlanta, Georgia, on CNN. Why not? We had to take some time to know you. When you started with K24, <laughs> <laughs> now we have accepted you. <laughs> but Waiguru was at the treasury for many years. As who? What do you mean as who? You know, if he's a, what was our history? You know Kenyans, you forget very quickly. What was her history? She was she a headmaster of a primary school? No. <laughs> <laughs> what a remarkable thing she has done in life for people. Yes. Apart from that bad history yes. of, uh, of NYS. Yeah. yeah. You know? And if it were in the other country, she would have not been even talking now. Mm. Where people are disciplined. Mm. You must answer for these millions. Where did they come from? What happened? You will be still answering those questions yeah. every day. You can't be allowed to start speaking, you know. And Kenyans have shameless. You stand up and you say, I want to be a member of parliament. Where are you coming? And this is what I, say, I tell people. In this country, the most popular people, and I want anybody to challenge me. I'm on a national television. Yes. This is citizen. Correct. Of royal media service. Correct. Let me ask you. Go on. In Kenya, when I tell people, the most three 
prominent and popular people. One is President Uhuru Kenyatta. Correct. Two is Raila Odinga. Yes. Three is Francis Atuel. You have closed. You have closed. <laughs> you have closed. <laughs> You have finished the game because <laughs> yes. you can be a popular but negatively. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you're yeah, not you can be a popular person. Yes. Because what are you doing? You're saying you're number three. Absolutely. Third most popular. You can carry out your own research, poll opinion. People will tell you it is Francis at Are you more popular because, than uh, William Ruto? Yeah, William Ruto, you know he came another day. He wasn't around when I was on newspapers. Mm. Check in 1964-1965. He wasn't born yet. Salim Ida, ask Salim Ida, who used to ask people questions yes. at the KBC. Yeah, Ida Salim. Yeah, Ida Salim. Yes. You knew him. Very well. Ask him. When did I start appearing on KBC television? You. Yes. You. Yeah. So you cannot amass wealth and power, and then you say you can beat Francis at one. No. No way. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> So if you wanted to stand in 2022, you'd be elected? Not only to be elected, I would be a serious candidate. But Except what I have done, I have created a big departure from national politics to what I'm doing. What because I don't want polit- politics. Why not? Because I'm an international guy. I am number two in the world. Number one in Africa. Number one in Eastern Africa from Madagascar to Eritrea, 14 Eastern African countries. I coordinate Africa and Asia. I have an office in New Delhi. How do I become a local senator of Kakamega? <laughs> 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 On that Kakamega note. <laughs> let's, see, let's look at some uh, social media interactions tonight. <laughs> Facebook, Monica, what do we have? Hudson Mwambili, you say, he deserves much credit. He, as Luya Elder, did what people thought was impossible. What an old man can see while sitting a young man cannot even see if he climbs the tallest tree. Hmm. What an old man can see, a young man can't see. Yes. Wafula, Wafula, you say, Luyas are not together. Busia, Bungoma are singing different songs. Those are very few people. Huh? Those are very few people. Busia, Bungoma. Ah, no, they are united. I was there the other Sunday in the mm. church. Mm. Yeah, people are united. I was in the Bungoma. Is that right? Yeah, they're okay. Prince Charles, he says, indeed, this man deserves all the credit for bringing Luya Nation together. The NASA government should consider him for CS position. I'm above CS. <laughs> <laughs> You're above Kakamega Senator? Ah, I'm above You're CS. above CS. Ah, CS is just a clerical officer for the president. So if you're offered a job yeah. by I the CS. Na- Yes. To leave trade union movement? Yeah. I will not. Come on. I will not, my friend. Come on. I will not. <laughs> <laughs> Boniface Vundi is a start planning what you're going to do for the Kenyan workers because I'm almost sure you are the next cabinet secretary for labor. No, I will give them somebody. You recommend? I will recommend somebody. You don't want? I don't want. I don't want. That's job to be. You know, my sons, my children can do such jobs. I'm above that, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, let's look at Twitter. Huh? Victor Odoyo. Like now, let me give you an example why I can't be that. I'm from Khartoum. Yes, this morning. And where I was accommod- accommodated, that is the highest hotel that you can name uh, presidential suit. Huh? Yeah. Who will allow a cabinet minister to go there? <laughs> cabinet secretary? Yeah. Maybe those old cabinet ministers. Right. Yeah, because they were elected from constituencies. They yielded very big powers. They were advisor to the head of state. Not these ones? Uh, not these ones. They, even the president doesn't know where they are. <laughs> Victor, do you say he disagrees that you did not help the Louis? He says, Louis ever are not united. As ever, are not united. Every coming elections, they are fe- feathers apart. They are feathers apart. That one is not a Luya. <laughs> oh, Chai Alexander, the Luya nation is fair to call out the word unity. Uh, Twali has simply tried, consequently bearing some average fruits. All right. Uh, average is better than nothing. <laughs> I wonder, S. Yes, he did it successfully, and those of us who were in Bukhungu 
can see what he told us unfolding. Sure, for really. One million people. Nobody has realized one million people. One million people in Bukungu Stadium? Yeah, absolutely. And in every part of Luya land. And even those Luyas living in Tanzania, Uganda, they came. Wow. Yeah. And you take credit? Absolutely correct. Why not? Naika Clyde, at some point of this conversation, I feel like a Tuoli should try presidency. He's wise, very wise. That is for another day. <laughs> <laughs> that is for another day, my friend. Yeah. Uh, but you wouldn't take CS? No, I can't. Would you take running because mate? you see the respect I earn globally. And I want you to... Recently I was elected in June. 5,000 people electing me in Geneva. Mm. Fourth term as a titular member. Fourth term. Fourth term I'm serving. And I was one of the toughest people who gained more votes among the four leading. Monica is so uh, can, I, can I throw that? Yeah. Come down here? Yeah, and be... Uh, and say I want to be a CS. Yeah. I wait on Thursday to be told, come, CS, there is a meeting. At State House. Oh, oh no. Yeah. No, no. Huh? No way. Huh? No way. Would you be someone's running mate? Of? Someone's deputy. Is no, I can't. I can't uh, look for a running mate. Because I have what it takes. I have 15 children. How many? Uh, 15 children. I have three homes and several other homes. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I, have do, I have those uh, native goats and cows. <laughs> my friend. Yeah. 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 I'm be, a man of my own home. I will be How do I become a running I'll mate? be your running mate. Yeah. Yeah, but you would benefit out of me. How? Because you would spend nothing. I have friends all over the world. If today I said I want to be only, I have said let me serve workers. That yes. is my decision. That's I it. Made. That's it. What are you going to do after this? What are you going oh, to do? Oh, I will go back to my church. I'm a Catholic. And do I will go back to my church. And do what? There is a lot of work for my church. I will go back to the church. And these are my whole rosary. Uh, I will go back to the church. Yeah. And, and be what? Uh, and, uh, and, and teach the young children yeah. uh, how to pray with this whole rosary. So you be what? And the teach them catechism. No. I will be an elder of the church. I will not be a father. I would be an elder of the church. So you, a catechist. Would you, uh, would you carry that for? Would, would, would you carry it around? Because I'm a believer in the works of God. And what Jesus Christ did for us. To free us to be what we are. And uh, the Jesus Christ is my protector. You cannot fight me. You cannot. can't fight me. No? No. Because I'm a just man of God. And you take If it you fight me, yes. I will see you going down. Mm. And you took the word literally from the Bible when he said, to go out there and multiply. Absolutely. Absolutely. I still want more children. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at the poll once more. Uh, <laughs> Does Cortez Francis the 20 deserve the credit for bringing the Luya Nation together? Yeah, absolutely. 64% of the people said yeah, yes. 64% no. said absolutely. yes. Absolutely. That place is united and is closed. SG. Western province will vote as a block for the first time. And we this is after Masinde Muriro mm -hmm. and uh, Mudava the senior. They are the people who managed to bring us together. And also uh, the late Wamalwa. Kijana Wamalwa. Kijana Wamalwa. Voting as, as a block? As a block. I'm the first person to achieve that. And this is what will happen. But I'm no longer in politics. After achieving, giving them a leader, I went back to my work. I know better. I remain their elder. Yeah. SG, we've got a couple of minutes left. That's your camera over there. Talk to the nation. Talk to our people. We have 26 days and 26 nights before the election. I might not come back to JK Koinange, but I want to appeal to Kenyans, as Kenyans, as people who love one another. Don't fight because of the political parties or because of presidential candidates. These are the same mangies but from different forests. They should not make us fight. Voters become, vote to whoever you want. But don't be incited. Don't heckle candidates. Accept every candidate in your home. Praise him, but choose wisely. Don't heckle presidential candidates, their deputies. Allow them 
to traverse Kenya's Kenyans. Listen to them here. I'm sure Kenyans have decided to whom they will vote for on 8th. So don't make noise. Let nobody give you changa and the rest of illicit drinks to cause problems. We love Kenya. The world is watching us. Let us defeat our enemies by voting peacefully, having peaceful elections and celebrating after the elections and coming together as brothers and sisters of this great nation. Kenya is a wonderful place. It's a satellite of economic activities in this region. We love Kenya. We love being Kenyans. Please, 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 let us make a difference by remaining united, peaceful. Elections should not divide us. Thank you. Thank you, Father Francis. <laughs> Brother Francis. Oh, brother, father, yeah. whatever, dear. Yeah. Uh, two things. Uh, Cyrus Jirongo is running for president. Of course. Did he pay you back the 100 million shillings you lent him? That's a very difficult question to answer, but since he's a presidential candidate, if he wins, maybe he will pay me. There's no problem. In other words, he hasn't paid you back. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, Leon Lidugu. He sends greetings all the way from Mumbai in India. Oh, thanks. Leon Lidugu. Oh, oh, thanks. And number three, Super Senator Sakaja yeah. sends his greetings to you. Sakaja is my own son. Sakaja, I have appealed to Nairobians, irrespective of their political affiliation. If they know what I'm doing is good for Kenya, yeah. as a labor leader of international repute, they should vote for this young man called Sakaja. But they say he's not really lawyer. No, it doesn't matter whether he's a... You know, I said, look, your brother is the one who is close to you. And by all intent, Sakaja is a lawyer. The mother of Sakaja comes from where I come from. What sort of a lawyer you want? The father of Sakaja and Honorable Amalua, they come from the same family, the same community. Amalua might deny or somebody might deny. Mm. But they are from the same community. If you deny Sakaja, then deny Wamalua. Edwin Sifuma, his opponent for Senate race, says he's not really Luya. No, he can say like that, but Sifuma came late. This boy was there. He has been in Nairobi politics. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not against Sifuna. Yes. He's a young man. I'm supporting young people. I told you I'm, support, I'm supporting this boy called Junet. Mm. I'm supporting Alfred Keter. Mm. I'm supporting uh, 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 this boy from Nyeri, yeah. uh, Kanine, uh, Kanine Kega. Kanine Kega. Yeah. These are young people, vibrant, uh, that when I'm old, I want to see them coming What about up. people like Boniface Mwangi and Sturehe? Uh, Mwangi is all right. What about Jaguar? Uh, those are the people, the young people we are Steve supporting. Mbogo. Those are the young people we are supporting. Which one would you support? want to win there, quickly? Yeah. Sturehe. Sturehe, yes. Which one? And then who comes out, they are all young people. Are you ever going to commit to anything? No, I don't want to commit myself to this because you commit to one person and eventually he lets you down. Those ones are mentioning they have been tested. Kanini Kega has been tested. Uh, 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 Junet in mm. South Nyanza has been tested. Yeah. He's a vocal guy. Yeah. Alfred Ketera has been tested. Uh, and these are people who have been tested. It's just like Joe. Yeah. When I say here, Joe will control the coast. You people do not want to believe me. The Sultan. Uh, Al Joe is the, controlling the coast. He, is he the replaced uh, Sharif Nasir. He replaced Ronald Ngala. He replaced those people who are there. He's going to win? Oh, with an overwhelming majority. Oh, finally you uh, said someone will win. No, that one will win. Huh? Uh, that one we can bet. He'll beat Hassan Omar. He's going to beat Hassan Omar. And, uh, and Suleiman, Hassan Omar is also my friend. And Suleiman Shahbal. Absolutely. That boy has that. You know, we want somebody who is brave, who can say what he wants to say. And he's brave. That is why we were fighting for the freedom of our association. You like him? Speech. I like him. I like somebody who is himself like Trump. Uh, somebody who says what he feels he should say. Yeah. Not that he should be, you know, vetted or gazed. You still like Trump? Oh, absolutely correct. Goodness yeah. gracious yeah. me. He's a man of himself. Trump what? is himself. What? Yeah. You need to be yourself, you know? Yeah, but he's like a little pussycat in front of Putin. No, no, no. You know, it doesn't matter if somebody wants to win elections, you see. Whoever supports you, that's immaterial. Okay. So long as you are there. SG, it's good to see you. Thank you. Thanks so much for your time. Good luck. Thank you, Jeff. And when you said earlier on that you might not come back on JK Live, you meant before the elections, before right? Before the elections. Oh, you didn't say you weren't going to come. No, 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 before oh. the elections. Oh, right, okay. I said 